Western is an unincorporated community and census-designated place located in Franklin Township, in Somerset County, New Jersey, United States. As of the 2010 United States Census, the CDP's population was 1,235, situated on the east side of the Millstone River north of East Millstone and south of Zarefath. Early names used for the area were Shanks Mill, Van Ness Mill and Frogton. Historically, an area on the west side of the river in what is now part of the borough of Manville was also referred to as Westin. The Western Causeway is the only bridge across the Millstone River between East Millstone and the confluence with the Ruiton River near Southbound, Brook. History Heinrich Henry Schenk built a grist mill on the east bank of the Millstone here, probably in the 1740s. His brother, Peter, built a mill upstream at Blackwell's Mills about the same time and both were called Schenk's Mill. Three of Henry's sons, Abraham, John and Henry were in the second graduating class of 14 students of the newly founded Queen's College that later became Rutgers University. The second owner of the mill was Abraham Van Nester, from 1771 to 1797. During his tenure, on January 21, 1777, there was a skirmish at the mill, known as the Battle of Millstone or the Battle of Van Ness Mill, between a British foraging party of about 600 troops, sent out of New Brunswick by General Cornwallis. Seeking the large quantity of flour they believed was stored there in a party of about 450 militia, commanded by General Philemon Dickinson. With the bridge at Western guarded by the British, the American force had to wade across the waist-deep, ice-filled river. Nevertheless, they so surprised the foraging party the British retreated without ever firing a single one of their three field pieces. In their haste, the British left behind 43 wagons, 164 horses, 118 cattle, 70 sheep and 12 soldiers who became prisoners. In the skirmish, five Americans were lost but the British lost about 30 men. When William Rogers owned the mill between 1823 and 1843, he changed the name to Weston purportedly to reflect the name used at the time for an area across the river from the mill. The Delaware and Ruiton Canal was completed through Western in 1834 and a bridge at Ender's House, now unused, is located on the southeast side of the bridge. The canal company maintained one of its six telegraph stations in Western, used to send express messages regarding damage to locks and bridges, breaks in or poor conditions of the canal banks, unusual water levels, boat accidents and speeders to other stations and the company office. The canal company is believed to have been one of the first users of the Morse telegraph in the United States. Unlike other communities located near the canal, Weston does not seem to have received any significant benefits from its construction. By the 1880s Weston included a post office, schoolhouse, blacksmith shop, store, grist mill, sawmill, and about 15 dwellings. Wilbur Smith was the last owner of the original mill from 1925 until 1982 when it fell into the river. He had worked for many years in an attempt to save the old mill but, after it collapsed, it was determined that it was beyond repair and now considered a flood hazard. There were plans to salvage parts of the historic structure but before the group, the Meadows Foundation, had a chance to do much work. Vandals set the mill on fire, destroying what was left of it. With the mill gone, all that remains in the area once known as Western are a few residences and several roads bearing the name. Geography According to the United States Census Bureau, Western had a total area of 1.447 square miles, of which 1.395 square miles of it was land and 0.052 square miles of it was water. Demographics Census 2010 At the 2010 United States Census, there were 1,235 people, 666 households, and 460.9 families residing in the CDP. The population density was 885.0 per square mile.
There were 703 housing units at an average density of 503.8 per square mile. The racial makeup of the CDP was 87.85% white, 3.24% black or African American, 0.00% Native American, 7.13% Asian, 0.00% Pacific Islander, 0.73% from other races, and 1.05% from two or more races. Hispanics or Latinos of any race were 2.83% of the population. There were 666 households, of which 0.8% had children under the age of 18 living with them, 64.6% were married couples living together, 4.4% had a female householder with no husband present, and 30.8% were non-families. 27.9% of all households were made up of individuals, and 20.4% had someone living there alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 1.85 and the average family size was 2.18. In the CDP, 1.2% of the population were under the age of 18, 1.1% from 18 to 24, 6.2% from 25 to 44, 31.9% from 45 to 64, and 59.6% .6 who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 67.5 years. For every 100 females there were 79.5 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 79.7 males.